Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick review of the Soval SV06. Let me start by saying that Soval did not provide this machine. I purchased it myself using my own money. I've had my SV06 for about a month now. I've done about a hundred prints or so. It's pretty rock solid. Some of the features are that it has a 300 degree all metal hot end a direct drive planetary gear extruder. All the axis are linear rods. It's running some kind of rebranded Creality 427 board. It has a TMC 2209 drivers. They're running in UART mode and it utilizes sensorless homing. It has an inductive probe that's super accurate. Uh, it's way more accurate than any BL touch I've ever used. Uh, I did have a couple of issues with bed leveling at the start, and I'll hit on that more in a minute. The bed is single-sided removable magnetic PEI. Um, you can print on the back. It's just plain metal, but you can print on it. Your mileage is, it will vary. The bed's solid mounted due to a, the linear rails that's on there. That's kind of a good and a bad thing. Talking about the linear rails, you they do require some maintenance. You're going to have to lubricate them periodically, but it's, it's really easy to do. As for software, it comes with Marlin pre-installed. Um, I'm running Clipper on this printer. Actually, I think I was the first to put Clipper on this printer, at least publicly. It prints wonderfully at 200 millimeters per second with acceleration at 3500. Keep in mind that's max speed. Uh, the majority of the model isn't printed that fast. Some of the cons of this printer are again, is that the bed is solid mounted. Mine has like a dip in this back corner very far back right next to the connector you know if i had knobs on it i'd be able to get rid of that dip but since i don't i can't um, i think what i'll end up doing is probably putting a washer it has five screws you can see when you pull this up there are five screws in there i think i'll pull up that back screw and put a washer in there to kind of raise that little corner up a little bit I don't know, it's not really a problem unless I'm printing something that's going to take up the entire sheet. So it doesn't, you know, it hasn't really happened that often. Another issue, um, the magnet isn't super strong. And when I first got this printer, it seemed like there was a hump right in the middle. And again, I mean, you can see it's, it isn't very strong on there, it isn't strongly attached. The more I've used it, um, the more flat and stable it's become. I think it's because this sheet, you know, this sheet is very thin. And I think through heat cycles, it's just found its shape. And it's more like the bed underneath it at this point. Versus when I first got it, I think it was kind of warped a little bit. Another thing, I guess, is you probably don't want to bend this too much. Um, you know, if you bend it a little bit, pop, you know, prints pop right off of it. Anyway, um, standard deviation across the bed at this point is 0 0.118, which isn't bad at all. And auto leveling handles all of that. Two things to note about this printer. I haven't had these problems, but people have um, among a lot of the user groups for several. One of the main complaints is that where you feed in your line into the extruder, it's difficult to feed for things like TPU. Again, I haven't had any of these issues, um, but people complain about that. Another issue that they complain about is that the device doesn't have end stops. Everything is sensorless. It has dual Z, but they're not synced. 
meaning there isn't something that ties this driver to that driver, and they're not independent. With all of that in mind, they can become out of sync. This side can be higher than that side, or that side can be higher than this side. Well, that's no good. Sobol's designed it so that there are these little bumps on each side and little stops on each side that you raise the gantry all the way up and it will sink. You know, they will level out. People complain that, okay, well, I've taken it all the way up, it's still not leveled out. Or I've taken it all the way up and it levels, but now I'm out with the bed. Now, again, I haven't experienced any of this, so I can't say whether or not it's, I got a really good printer or it's user error. I can't say. All I can tell you is that I haven't experienced any of these problems. Let's see, how does it print? Well, this is the Benchy that printed straight out of the box. No tuning, nothing. I just put the four screws in it, turned it on, and printed this out. And it's a great, great Benchy using their PLA that came in the box. Pretty good, pretty good. And like I said, I'm, I'm running Clipper and this is something that I've recently done. And again, that was printed at 200 millimeters per second. Again, that's max speed at 0 0.16 millimeters. It's, it's fantastic. So in conclusion, I love this printer. Um, as of the date of this recording, it, it's my favorite printer that I have. Um, this would be number six for me. I mean, I, I can't say anything bad against it really at this point. Are there a couple of things I'd like to tweak? Sure. Um, again, you know, the bed, um, a stronger magnet, maybe a thicker PEI sheet. It would have been nice if the PEI sheet was smoothed on the other side, but I mean, these are all minor things. Um, and obviously you can go and get another PEI sheet off Amazon um, for, you know, $15, $20, not a big deal. But again, I, I love it. and. I think, you know, if you're probably going to love it too. Anyway, happy printing.